Hi, thanks for coming back to the chopping block. So you'll remember I did a video for the AR15.com YouTube channel, which if you're not a member at AR15.com or subscribe to their channel, I highly recommend it. Some great information on their channel, and especially if you're interested in AR15s or really anything firearm related, head on over to AR15.com and at least look through the forums. You can learn a lot. Now, another thing that I wanted to take a look at is how accurately water jugs represent penetration distance. Now, I use them in my test just to capture a projectile after it's passed through a ballistic gelatin block. My blocks are 16 inches long. If it exceeds that, we know, well, that's a fair amount of penetration, and we don't need a really objective empirical number. It's just a lot. That said, I am kind of curious how well water jugs alone represent penetration depth. So I took the same round that I shot through the clear gel and the real ballistic gelatin, the Nosler 64 grain bonded soft point, and I fired it through a row of just milk jugs full of water. Let's take a look and see what happens. Two seven nine six. So it entered there. Looks like it came out there. Oh wow! <laughs> Look at it sitting right between the jugs. That's cool. Alright, so that's one, two, three, four, and sitting between the jugs. Well, it looks very similar to the ones recovered from the gel. And that's 4 times 6. Well, that's 24. In gel, it did, well, in natural gelatin, it did about 15 inches, a little over 15 inches. So it did substantially more in water. But other rounds do less in water than they do in gel. Just an interesting comparison, I think. It's not one to one, never will be. Can give you some interesting ideas on how much it'll expand and hold together and all that. If you've got any other ideas on what other sorts of tests you'd like to see, make sure you leave a comment below. Tell me what you'd like to see me test, how you'd like to see me do it. And if you think I screwed something up, keep your mouth shut. No. <laughs> Give me some feedback. That's the only way I can get better is if you if you tell me what you'd like to see, what what you think I got wrong, what you think I got right what we could do better next time. That's how we grow. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoy watching stuff get shot and crushed and smashed and chopped and otherwise destroyed, a big giant block of ice right there. Take a minute and head on over to the Destruction Channel. They've got a lot of really interesting and innovative ways to destroy things and it's just a lot of fun to watch some mindless smashing stuff sometimes they're doing some great stuff it's a lot of fun to watch them if you have the time head on over and check them out
Thanks for watching. Have a great day.